And good morning. It is 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. And joining us in studio this morning, talk uh, Senior Day. Good out morning. at the Eastern New Mexico State Fair, Barbara Gomez and Sherry Jones with us this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you doing today? Oh, we're doing, I'm doing great. How good, about good. you, Sherry? That's going to be yours, Sherry. Right there. Thank uh, you. Um, well, good news. Um, it it kind of, this kind of came to be kind of in the last minute here. We uh, we were having trouble getting folks, uh, you know, COVID and all that, mm-hmm. uh, getting stuff festivities planned for senior day right and then uh late last week uh some some mountains got moved i think i think barbara got involved is what happened oh no actually it was sheree that started, <laughs> sheree, the, she sheree started, started the ball rolling yes. and, and of course and i knew who there. to contact yes so, so she got it going and then went down to, to do the phone here so good news is uh we have a, an awesome senior day planned yes uh, out at the fair tomorrow from 3 to 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, first thing, if I remember right, the free admission, that's all day, right? The, if correct. I remember right, for, for yes. seniors 55 and older. That's mm-hmm. correct. Uh, of course, there's free parking for everybody now. So right. so that 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 you get that perk still. <laughs> no, we're going to charge. Is, which is really kind of cool, I think. Well, it, it's great for parents. It I think, is. I think, and it's safety-wise, it probably helps. Mm-hmm. Because I think a lot of parents, when, you know, when they would drop their, their teenagers off to ride the rides and stuff, Rather than pay for parking, they would drop them off on the highway. And, and of course, right. with all the barrels, that's kind of confusing for some folks that don't drive. And so it, 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 mm-hmm. it's a lot of danger. So mm-hmm. so parents, it's free parking now. Drive through the, through the barrels, come in, drop them off at mm-hmm. the front gate mm-hmm. there, and, uh, and, and then you can drive back out there. Everybody's safe and sound and good to go. Uh, but seniors, everybody, parking's free. Um, now, seniors, uh, 55 and up tomorrow, you have, during the entire gates open tomorrow, mm-hmm. um, you get a free admission into the fair. So you get to enjoy all the uh, and admittance into the fair and, mm-hmm. and and tomorrow first concerts are tomorrow. So yeah, a lot of yeah, there's a lot of activities out. going on. If you hadn't you haven't looked at the schedule, there's a lot of activities already going on throughout mm-hmm. the day. And so we were really happy that we were able to put this on this year because we had a few people asking, you know, a number of people asking. So are we doing senior day at the fair? You know, and then. Of course, Cherie called me and said, what are we doing? We're senior day at the fair. And I said, I don't know. So she did a little bit of research and found out. We can do this. We can make yeah. it happen. Yeah, yeah, we, we can, can make, make it happen in a week. So um, in, in a week. <laughs> so it, it happened. Yeah. Yes. Well, we'll see. Mountains removed. <laughs> and well, it's it's one of those things. When, when we as a community, uh, in, in this case, you guys, <laughs> come together. I mean, we can yeah. we can do these things. Yeah. And, and, and obviously, we have the demand. That's great to see that. that you know, people say, no, no, this is a part of the fair that we embrace and want to be a part of. And, yes. And so it not only is it great to see that you're able to pull it off, but it's mm-hmm. also great to see that there is a demand for this. People are right. saying this is something that we benefit and we want as part of our fair. And 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 so it's great and, to see people reach out and want to, to have this happen. Right. So it's Absolutely. all good. It's all good thing. Yeah. I think so many times that seniors are forgotten. Yeah. Um, and they're... They should not be. I mean, they've, they've been tucked away uh, pretty tight, you know, because of COVID. And um, and we want them to, to uh, come out um, whenever they are um, at home mm-hmm. and they're not getting out and visiting with others. Then depression sets in. And so we want them to get out and be involved in their community. Let them know that they're appreciated. Um, and that we still wanted to do this for them. Sure. So. I, I mean, we. I mean, obviously, at, at the event tomorrow, and we'll get into this. There's mm-hmm. going to be lots of great screenings, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. vaccines, opportunities, right. things like that. But, but, uh, sure, you're right. I mean, we talk mental health. That's that's probably the underlying issue that we we don't address as mm-hmm. much here. And because let's face it, a lot of seniors, when you get older. Um, you get more isolated. It's just the mm-hmm. way, you know, your your kids grow up, they move away, the grandkids, they'll come visit from time to time or whatever. But but um, your friends start passing away, and so some of your social circles start getting mm-hmm. smaller or move away. I mean, life happens, and you start getting separated from people, and, yeah. and, and um, it's not uh, out of the realm of possibility or very probable mm-hmm. that, that seniors spend most of the time at home, mm-hmm. you know, Watching TV, doing you know, not getting a lot of social interaction, social things, um, and and it's not a financial thing. It's just no. it's the lifestyle. No, I mean, absolutely. They yes. don't, and so to have an ability to come out, hang out with people mm-hmm. that's you know, kind of chewed some of the same dirt they did, right, right, and uh, come out and enjoy the fair and enjoy the music and enjoy the mm-hmm. all the fun parts of the fair. And by the way, while you're here, seniors, let's get you uh, some information on flu shots sure, and, and sure. COVID shots and all this kind of stuff. 
and uh, do all that while you're out. Let's do that, and well, you know, in between free hot dogs and and and, mm-hmm. and, 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 and getting information and and riding the zipper uh, and all those other things. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, well, you know, talking about you know being isolated, I think overall we're all ready to get out. Sure. So it was exciting to see the parade yesterday. It was exciting to mm-hmm. be a part of that. Had great and, crowds out. Yeah, at the great parade. crowds, and so I think not just seniors, but overall all of us. And I'm sorry, 55 seniors. Geez, it's like hey, it's starting a little young. 55. These is, yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's, but I think it's, it's cool. like Christmas. I like, I like the perks though. I do like some of the perks of being fifty-five years old. I'm gonna say it's like Christmas. Yeah, you know where where they keep moving it up on us. I think seniors are like the same way. I'm like, wait a minute. Seniors were older when I was younger. I know. Now all the seniors <laughs> well, well, are like younger. Right. Uh, yes. What's going on here? <laughs> but they, the, but they need to move it up a little bit because you know people are living so much longer. You know, whenever sure. you're living to be this is hundred or over a hundred, fifty-five is not really senior. That's kind of it's kind of like middle-aged. I it think. is. I look think. At, yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I'm just a couple years away from fifty-five myself, See? and I'm looking at it like it ain't so old. <laughs> and I think as we get older, yeah. it's more experience. It's not that you're aging; you're getting more experience in you know life. What? I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, out at the Eastern New Mexico State Fairgrounds, Mm -hmm. the most brains and wisdom in all of Southeast New Mexico will be at one location. If you think about it. Because that's really what... yeah. There we go. Yeah. I mean, you think about it. I mean, this is why you listen to seniors. Because they... If they haven't done it, they know someone who's done it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. They've been there. They've done that. They, mm-hmm. and, and, and they've I, watched it get done. And the older <laughs> I get, the more I learn that. I and, and and you shift from, you know, it's, it's. I mean, you hear the jokes about, you know, old versus young. And, you know, and the young person's, you know, excited, ramped up, bullheaded into things. And the old person's like, all right, let's take a step back and do it. We'll yeah. do it all. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yes. And, and, yes. And that's, that is the beauty of, of aging. You mm-hmm. get that's. I mean, yeah, we complain about all the other stuff, but the good perks are you're like life just gets easier for you because you've got the wisdom to know and understand sure, how to navigate sure. things. So life, you know, plus it you, just plus makes you, sense. Plus you stop caring about the petty things. You kind of go, I'm really not caring about that anymore. Life I really don't ship. need that anymore. Priorities change. And so, so, so young t- folks come out and spread that wisdom yes. or learn that wisdom. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, I, I, if, if, if you just take some of the advice our, our our seniors have and put some put some of that into your lives, sure. your life will be so much. They've been there. They've done that. They got yeah. the T-shirt. I know we're young and we're always like, I, I want to do it myself. You don't know me. It's going to be different. No, it's not different. I'm learning it now. <laughs> it's the exact. I said the same things you did, and guess what? Here I sit going, man, those people were right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and I know we're getting a little off topic yeah. here, but right. But but but. But I think it's true. Yeah, it's, I it's absolutely. Tr- you know, true 100%. Yeah. Um, one of the other things that, that uh, we've kind of changed is this time is we've decided to have it a little bit later. So in the past, we've had it earlier. So now we're having it a little bit later in the day. And that's so that whenever the seniors are finished with our event, they can go and see the other vendors in sure. the commercial building. Hang and they're the actually concert. open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the past, they haven't been open. And so they were, the seniors were kind of frustrated. So we did hear your concerns and we did address that and so um <laughs> hopefully you can come and enjoy our event um we also have a cake walk okay um that should be fun for everybody i love cake especially yeah, when uh, you me get, too when i don't have to make it and i get someone else Absolutely. to make it and i just have to walk around a little bit and <laughs> win it you know yes yes <laughs> And then you can lie and tell everybody afterwards you made it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, because see, some people are, are making homemade cupcakes, so you might be able to say that. This uh-huh. is a homemade cupcake that I've I made. I've seen, like, in past cake walks and things, mm-hmm. some are very ornate and decorated. Yeah, and, it's always fun to get one of those. Lie your pants off. Lie mm-hmm. your pants off. Oh, like, yeah. I, I slept yeah. hours doing mm-hmm. Yes, I mm-hmm. sweated and, you know, cried and <laughs> did this exactly okay. right. Put a little you, bit of flour you, on you your face. You put in your time and yes. you earned it. You can lie all about it you want. Right. <laughs> right. But, you know, you, you were talking talking earlier about uh, people being excited that this was back. You know what I think is the great thing that I found in having to do this really quick Mm -hmm. is that reaching out to the community, to the usual people that help out. I mean, we've had a number of people reach out and say, you know, this is not, this is for free. You can have your booth out there for free or table Mm -hmm. for free and talk about what you do, Mm -hmm. not just for seniors, for the community in general and health or non-health type things. Sure. Uh, But if you want to make a donation, you can or help us in some way. And I have to tell you, people have stepped up to help us. So that's really helped me and Cherie because Good deal. you know, because it doesn't matter if it's a free event. You still have expenses. You still oh, yeah. need hot dogs. You still, you still need to be there. Yeah. You still need tablecloths. You still need 
Time had, is money. Yeah, napkins. You need stuff. And so we were really fortunate that a lot of people have stepped up. So thank you. Yes, it's been great. They didn't fuss that, oh, you're only giving me a couple of days. It's not. They're like, oh, yeah, let, us, in. let us know what you need. And they were Johnny on the spot and had everything really quick. And awesome. so we were very appreciative of that. We and, have a great community. Yeah, we, just, we do. We do. We including, do. you know, um, Albertsons. Which I think for the first time they're going to be offering shingles vaccines. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's um, new to this year's yeah, day. shingles vaccines. I don't know if we've done pneumonia vaccines I don't th- before. I don't think we have Day. either. I okay. think so, they've always done flu shots. Yeah, I think that yeah, flu yeah. shots and uh, obviously COVID is going to be new yeah. to, to this one. Yes, this right. year, COVID, I don't, COVID I don't shots. Think that was the available COVID vaccines will last be there. Right, right. Fair, so. exactly. <laughs> so with and, Frontier Medical and. Um, the uh, New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services to get together um, to put an event together, and we only have a week. We're going to do it right. Sure. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah. So that was really cool because you know a lot of times seniors don't come out unless you have something like a flu shot or something to give them. Yeah. Such as that something form- formidable, I guess you can call that they. Sure, they want the goodies. Sure, they want to get out and have fun. Sure. But they want to get out and say, well, you know what? I think I'm afraid of this shingles stuff. I if, really need- if they're giving out free shingle shots, that's. A game. I mean, what what is it? Fifty and up? They say you can get a shingle shot. That I think it's fifty. Yeah, fifty and up. I know it'd be fifty five for the event tomorrow. Yeah, but but I think if I like the commercials on TV, I think yeah, I think you're fifty years and older. um, And and uh, and I'm no doctor, and I'm not going to try to play one or anything. But I do Mm -hmm. know this: Um, the shingles vaccine only happens to people that have had chicken pox. Yes. So if you've had chicken pox, which is almost all Mm -hmm. of us, Mm -hmm. um, then you need to get the shingles vaccine because. Mm -hmm. It's so it's like polio. Yeah. Like it, it shingles. I mean, yeah, it's not going to kill you, but man, it's so debilitating for people that when they get it um, and, and all you need to do is get one shot and you'll never have this. And now you can get it for free. What? Yeah. It's a win-win. Where's the downside here? Yeah. I'm like, right. go to the fair, get your fringless free shingle. Then that's one thing you ain't got to worry about for the rest of your life. You right. don't have to worry right. about that. Uh, debilitating uh, issue happening. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I believe the shingles is two shots, though. Is it? So they would get their first one. So they'll get and started. It, yeah, the they'll role get the started process. again okay. with the COVID shot. It will be a two unless they do that Johnson and Johnson, sure. which I don't know what but they're. We can get the make yeah. appointment to right. get the second one taken. And, yeah. and, yeah, and, yeah. and as far as charges go, I don't know unless you know um, more about this, Sheree, but. Uh, a lot of times they just bill your insurance, or they oh, bill, okay. and, and if you, or they bill Medicare or whoever okay. they, whomever they bill. Okay. And uh, a lot of times there is no charge for it, but it may be that they're doing it completely for free. Okay. I don't know. But, but they way, will, if, but they uh, will work you through that process, so you can go ahead and t- visit with them, and they they will be there. You know, somebody administering the okay. the, the vaccine. We'll go there and get it yeah. done. Save you a trip to the doctor's office mm-hmm. because. I know this too. The older you get, the more you. Uh, they almost give you a regular seat at the doctor's office right, when you get they older. Right, they just set you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody you stand in line and just <laughs> shoot you up. I'll put you in a corner. Oh, you're back. Yes, yeah, yeah. You saved your seat for yeah. you. You know, you feel like that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, here's one last trip. You can get this done. Get your flu shots, sure. your or vaccines, or any of these done. Sure. And then uh, go have a hot dog and maybe go see a show or go yeah. visit the commercial building or check out one of the livestock mm-hmm. shows. Um, you know what? I think I have the fair book. Do I still? Hopefully, I didn't close it yet. I may have. Nope, it's up. Let's see. Thursday or Wednesday. I'm sorry. Uh, Wednesday at the fair. Um, livestock shows. They're going to have um, the carnival, everything. What's on tap for shows tomorrow, livestock wise? Poultry. Uh, they're doing some of the poultry show stuff tomorrow, market beef weigh-in. So if you love that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. there's some of those uh, happening there. Um, market lamb show is happening at 10 a.m., and uh, that's usually an all-day affair. So mm-hmm. so if you go and check out some of these shows and support the kids and, and right. do that Get you too. something great to eat. If, yeah. even, I mean, you can get a hot dog with us, but I'm sure they'll have all kinds of barbecue and vendors out there and, and turkey, I, I, I legs. I say this, this is a rule, and it's mm-hmm. science. Oh, is it really? This is science. Okay. We when know you, all about science, when right? You, when yes. You, when you yes. eat fair food at a fair, calories don't count. Oh, wow. That's wow. And it makes you happy, and it aids in depression as well. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, we're doing Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes. I, I've been telling that joke for years. That's uh, yeah. been my joke. Like, you can eat the funnel cakes and the corn dogs now, and all that. that. Now you're yes. talking up my alley desserts. But yes. you got to eat it on fair property. If you try to take it off, you get double calories. Yeah, That's it just rule. all falls <laughs> off as you're walking. <laughs> yes. As you're walking around. That's right. This is science. I, I didn't make this up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but... Uh, in all seriousness, yeah, come out and enjoy. Um, I'm telling you, the, the livestock shows, because I'm not a farm and ranch. I didn't, wasn't raised in it. I grew up in Maryland. 
Uh, this is all. So that's kind of fun to see me. those things. For me, it's amazing. I have, I know nothing about what the judges are looking for, but mm-hmm. just to see these kids, um, especially like the bigger animal. When you get like these kids that right, are like ten and twelve, cows. and they 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 come up to about three feet tall, and they're and they're handling an eight hundred pound steer or cow mm-hmm. or something, mm-hmm. and they do it. Um, proficiently, right? It's it right. amazingly. It's to me that's that's amazing to watch. They mm-hmm. put all kinds of time and, and work yeah. and, and effort and tears into this yeah. animal, mm-hmm. and and this is their time to shine now. Yeah. So yeah. so enjoy that. So it's really that cool that, they, that they're getting to do that. Yeah. So come that's out senior think. day. Roll up your sleeve. Get your vaccines or whatever you need there. Sure. Come uh, enjoy a hot dog or two. Get, yeah. Like I said, if you're looking for information, I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of uh, people that can provide you. If you're looking for, like, if there's health-related stuff and there's not anything there directly to help you with that, mm-hmm. I'm sure there's people that can put you in the direction that you're looking for for Absolutely. those services. And, and actually, like if that. I could tell you a little bit of who will be there in case yeah. you're wondering, uh, there will be, uh, Chimera will be there. I guess you guys know of Chimera Medical. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Chimera Medical has some new physicians they plan to have some of their doctors there. So okay. if you are wondering who are these new doctors, you and I need I need a doc I need a doctor. Let me go find out what's going on over there. So they, they and you are can gonna meet them and talk to them right. while you still have your pants on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not, not, <laughs> we're not raising your sleeve or yeah. something. You have a nice yeah. sport, you know, yeah. on an even playing field where sure. you're not yeah. pantsless in the, on a sure. table. <laughs> and, and and Chimera is one of our sponsors as well. And uh, Comfort Keepers is going to be there. And Comfort Keepers provides non-medical personal care, Mm -hmm. which means if you need a few hours of help here and Mm -hmm. there, if you need someone to stay overnight with you, Mm -hmm. if you need someone to take you shopping or, uh, you know, just to be a companion for you. A lot of times, like if people are receiving like medical care because they're at home homebound, Mm -hmm. these folks will help with the other stuff. Like if you need shopping or you need some cleaning or cooking, sure, they they help with all those kinds of things. See, like for me, Frontier Medical, I do have two sides to me. I Mm -hmm. have the medical and the non-medical. So uh, part of us does do the same thing as Comfort Keepers. Mm But Comfort Keepers is one of our sponsors, so I want to make sure that we let people know that they can go out there and visit with them about non-medical care. Sure. Now, if you need medical care... Sure, if you need shots administered and medicine yeah, done. you need Frontier, then you sure. need a skilled person. You need a nurse, a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, okay. somebody different. Here's a lazy guy question. Do okay. I have to be old when, and not healthy to let them come and do work for me? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely What if not. I'm just I, lazy? How, what if I'm know, like, I want someone to cook dinner for <laughs> me? I'm sure know? they would be happy to come. Actually, it would be it's great. You can do as little as two hours, up to 24 okay. hours a day, seven days a week. All right. So, and there is no age limit. Okay. I, just, I mean, I have nothing wrong with me. Yeah, I just, nice no, I just, I just, want, to, I just want to order somebody <laughs> around. Okay. <laughs> and uh, then we can have kindred hospice. You guys know what, ki- what hospice mm-hmm. is about. Yeah. You know, um, end of life care. Absolutely. Uh, very good, compassionate care. So they can tell you about that. Maybe nobody wants to think about dying. But as, as I said, whenever I used to work for hospice, because sure. I used to work for hospice once upon a time. They'd ask me, am I dying? And it's like, we are all in the process of dying. All of us are. It's just mm-hmm. some of us are in a different place than you know, others, you know? You know, it, it's something, and I, just because of my own personal family and having to deal with some, a little bit of hospice side of things mm-hmm. in the last couple of years here, um, I've definitely changed my opinion on how, because obviously you think of hospice and you think end of life and you, mm-hmm. someone says, you hear someone's on hospice mm-hmm. and it's like, ooh, you know. Yeah, oh, and they're no. going to pass within the week. And that's not always the case. Not either. always the no. case. But but here's the part. And the like you said, it's the individuals, the people, because mm-hmm. um, the mental health side of, of dying, mm-hmm. we, we don't address that so much. And the, the and staff, the family and the family and the, the family, family mental well health too. side is very important, and they'll go through their own yeah. grieving and angry process. So, and so it's good for them to and get so some the, assistance. And the, that's where I saw mm-hmm. the value. Because at mm-hmm. first I'm thinking, oh, they're just there to change bed pans and do things and make it comfortable until they pass. Mm-hmm. But but they almost serve as like your minister a little mm-hmm. bit, your your guidance counselor or psychiatrist. Um, not just for mm-hmm. the, the, the patient or the person needing, but like you mm-hmm. said, the whole family. Hospice yes. Yes. is an amazing tool. And and um, I, I've changed so much on that perspective mm-hmm. of like, like God, I, I hope I don't need hospice when I die. And to mm-hmm. like a point now, you know what? If I go that route, I hope I can't wait to have them there to help navigate myself my, and, and my, whoever, my, family. my wife and my family. Right, right. This. And, and actually, you can think about hospice as the family's going to need some guidance. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to need some guidance and they're going to need some respite also. And they offer respite care so that you can go off and go get a breather for a few minutes, go sure. get a cup of coffee, Unplug. go out with, 
Yeah, unplug yeah. away from that because caregiving and taking care of somebody at the end of life can be very Absolutely. hard on the person that's and, then, t- and the family. And obviously, depending on what the condition is, mm-hmm. that impacts. I mean, I'm sure when you're dealing with like your Alzheimer's, dementia, sure. those type patients, that's an emotional roller coaster for everybody mm-hmm. involved. And that hospice can really be that 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 lighthouse in the storm that kind of keeps sure. you on sure. on target. You know, right, so, right. Yep. And, and we- you can even have hospice um, in the nursing home. And so many people think, you know, well, hospice is just if you're at home, but you can have it if your loved one is in a nursing facility. You can't take care of them. Hospice will come in there mm-hmm. and they will uh, assist the resident as well as the family. Excellent. So that's yeah. a, another option for folks. Right. Don't realize right. That. Mm-hmm. But either way, what I'm saying is learn more at this uh, tomorrow. At the, if you want to mm-hmm. get information about sure. hospice. And ask questions that we're not asking here. That's what tomorrow's for. And actually, non-medical personal care can also go into a nursing home. And do that, too. Yeah, as well. Because Good to know. let's say, you know, you have a family member in the nursing home and you want them bathe more than the nursing home can do. Or you just want yes. somebody there mm-hmm. uh, to visit with your family or change their clothes or whatever. You can you can hire somebody from Comfort Keepers or maybe even Personal Care by Design to bring okay. somebody in to sit there and take care of your family member if you can't be there if you're going to be out of town or something so if we wet a beak there for maybe you or a family member come Mm -hmm. out to the senior day in the fair Mm -hmm. even if you're not a senior and want to learn this yeah maybe for your loved one right please come out and And, uh and actually mike it really is important for people 55 years and older to come out i'm talking about the younger people Mm -hmm. uh, of this range because you're the one that's going to be taking care of your father your mother you're the one that needs the the information information. so you come pick it up and also, I just want to give a shout out to Angela Rodriguez, audio, Audiology. Uh, she was kind enough to support our event. She was not going to be able to be there, but she offers state-of-the-art hearing aid uh, information, tests, and things oh, like that. So, so if you need to more follow-up with her, you can schedule yes. an appointment, yes, but you, you can, can get schedule. the ball rolling tomorrow. Mm-hmm, you can. Bit, yeah. So, Cherie, can you tell them uh, nursing facilities are going to be there? Or who else? Oh, the... Um so the nursing facilities that are going to be there would be Mission Arch okay. um, Care Center. Uh, they're on the north side of town. They're coming to join us, um, and they are a great skilled staff, nursing facility. Mm-hmm. Right. They have memory care unit. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're coming, um, and we also have Sunset Via. Mm-hmm. Uh, on which, the south end. On the south end, which is the, mm-hmm. the um, oldest nursing facility here mm-hmm. in um, Roswell. Um, so they're coming to join us, and... Um, they offer both skilled nursing, um, wound care, that sort of thing. Sure. And, uh, and long-term. And long-term. Yeah. Um, they're one of the places um, that they can have hospice there. Mm-hmm. You know, they have therapy. Um, and also Casa Maria Care Center. Mm-hmm. Um, they are there, and um, they'll be there with us. Um, and they offer skilled nursing. Of course, they have their rehabilitation suites there. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um, and so um, we would love for everybody to come out. And if you just want information um, on the facilities, um, see what's out there. Mm-hmm. Um, or can I afford it? You know, my loved one might be getting older. Mm-hmm. Um, are they going to take away my house and my dog and my car if I go to the nursing home and I need Medicaid? Mm-hmm. Um and the answer is no, but if you have those questions, you can reach out to Mission Arch, Casa sure. Maria, or mm-hmm. Sunset Via, and their people would be able to help you sure. um, answer whatever questions sure. that you and have. Sure, probably set up a meeting mm-hmm. if you need more Correct. individualized yes. information in, on your s- situation and scenarios right. there. Yeah. Right, And we have a little bit of, of uh, some more people that will be there. That's not. It's not going to be all medical, you guys. So if you're saying, oh my goodness, it's going to be all medical, <laughs> I really don't want to go. We're actually going to have Goodwill there. Did you know that Goodwill pays for people to come work mm-hmm. in your business. They help They'll pay them. for a few hours here and there. There's a nonprofit that I'm associated with that we utilize those services uh, to help. With yeah. Some cleaning and, and I mean, we just heard it just recently whenever yeah. I went to the job fair. Yeah. And so Goodwill's going to be there. So they do talk about what all the that Goodwill Industries does, mm-hmm. not only for jobs, but also they provide veteran services. So if mm-hmm. you're a veteran that needs some help, they're kind of a uh, jack of all trades. They are. They uh, really, really are. A helpful I, place. Yeah. So they're going to be there. Uh, we're going to have a couple of fun things. We're going to have the wild, the wildlife desert willow will be there, Ooh. and um, the gentleman sent me his name and his uh, pet's name, but his name Always is Robert. Always an animal, cool. Ah, his name is Robert Kasubowski. Okay, I'll let you figure is that, that the out. The man or the pet? <laughs> <laughs> That's the bird's name. Okay. <laughs> so good luck with Robert's name. Okay. Um, we'll Robert, with Robert. the bird's name, but the bear, the bird's name, it's a hawk, and his name is. Harrison. All right. And they come from Carlsbad. So you get to come look at the hawk. He will have it there. Sometimes he has the pelicans. 
That's and a cool place down owl. there in Carlsbad. It, is it really? Yeah, yeah. It's, they do um, the animal rescue and all that. The and rehabilitation so, yeah, center up there. So, so they're going to bring uh, one of the hawks that they've uh, rehabilitated. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a, great. kind of a yeah. cool picture. I know you can't see it, but he will be there. Uh, I will have some information probably from the Roswell Community Little Theater. They have some events that Lori talked to you about yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. So they will have some of that information. Um, uh, Medicare, and I know this is not medical, but Medicare Senior Solutions is going to be there. So if you're going through that process of saying, you know, I need to sign up for Medicare. How sure. do I do that? And how course, does this whole process work? November is kind of a time where people look at their health care plans and reassess and mm -hmm. re-sign up. Right. So, so if you need some help starting that process for seniors, uh, they can help yeah, you with yeah, that. Yeah, you that can come out thing. and do that. Let's see. I, was coming a little I wanted to put a little um, blurb in there about um, the New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services Department. So I'm an ombudsman. And what is an ombudsman? What does that mean? An ombudsman is the Swedish word for carrier of the message. Mm -hmm. And so I advocate for residents who live in long-term care facilities. Many times um, families come to me as well as residents and state, mm -hmm. hey, um, I need some help in here. Things are going right. You know, can you help me out? Um, and actually, this month is Residents' Rights Month. So okay. residents have certain rights. Um, that they have while they're in the nursing facility. And we help the residents, uh, the facilities to uh, recognize those rights sure. mm -hmm. for make the sure indi aware individuals. Of them make sure the, the right. places are in compliance. With them. Right. Yeah. And one of those rights, you know, is for them to, to be able to associate and communicate and have access to, to services. And so um, we want you to exercise those rights out in the community as well as whenever you get out. And so um, mm -hmm. if you come to the fair, on Wednesday from 3 to 6, um, you can get some information on on that as okay. well. Okay, very cool. And I do want to give a shout-out to our volunteers because, you know, we can't do this without volunteers. Oh, not we at have all. some young people that will be helping us. But one specific that you may have heard of, Mike, already, are Diamond Miss, Aaliyah. And I'm sorry, I don't know Aaliyah's oh, yeah, last yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. But this young lady's whole platform is volunteerism yeah yeah and I, she's i've never met her but i've heard of her and, and yeah she's awesome i believe she's only 14 years old yeah and her platform is volunteerism she has already pledged well is wanting to pledge 400 hours of volunteerism this year oh, and so she's been yeah. everywhere she's been at the chili cheese festival she's helping out kiwanis with raising money for oh, the good. park leading by example yeah. yes Love and it. and she's yeah. uh, she's going to come out there and help us to make hot dogs, she cleans up before, I mean, clean, helps us set up and cleans up afterwards. Doing all the grunt work. Now. Yeah, she is. And she comes out there wearing sometimes her nice dress and her crown and is Swing out there. Dog. Yes, and helping <laughs> us out. So I'm really excited that she's going to be out there That's so awesome. you can say hello and uh, well, tell her what a great job she's doing because she is. She, she is, really and is. hopefully inspires some other young people <clears throat> to roll up their sleeves and sure, volunteer absolutely. like she does. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And old people, too. Everybody can volunteer. You know? Yes. Yeah, right. yeah, yes. I, I say young uh, people, but uh, all of us can do that. Yes, so. the more mm -hmm. experience. The more. So you guys come out. Please do come out. Senior Day at the fair is back. Yes, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Free uh, event. F again, free admission mm -hmm. into the fair grounds all day for seniors 55 mm -hmm. and older. Uh, the event uh, hour window for seniors uh, with all the stuff we're talking about, three to six. Uh, all of it's happening in the new building out there. Yeah. I say yes, that. I'm glad you mentioned it's that. It's in the new building. And if you have not been out to the fair yet, mm -hmm. you might notice uh, they've made some changes around uh, the, the facilities yeah, there in have. the last two years since COVID. Uh, food rows moved. Uh, they've got... Um, that's kind of now an area where the staging and a beer garden is now there. Wow, um, I can't wait to see all so, that. I didn't uh, know that. Seniors, there's a beer garden. So <laughs> after you're done doing all your medical stuff, go get a beer. Uh, yes, go yeah. have a beer. Yeah. You earned it, right? Right. You can uh, carry your hot dog over there exactly. and have a hot dog and a beer. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know what? People are like, wait a minute, this senior day starting to sound pretty sound good. Now. Yeah, hot yeah. dog and a beer afterwards? <laughs> yeah, now I'm in. <laughs> okay, Mike, okay, Mike, I'm directionally challenged. So where is the new building um it's it's kind of just uh, if you know where the commercial building is it's mm -hmm. just north of that you can't miss it it's I, right i'm there. really bad with directions yeah, so ask you, anybody that i know so well, if, if if you oh that knows you, you can't miss it if you go to the commercial building you'll see it just follow it's, a, the groups it's of where the office is yeah, at it's all the office i mean right i know there. where it's at it's just hard for me to tell people yeah. exactly where it's at yeah it t i think officially it's like north of the commercial building is if right. you're if you're giving navigation to right it. right but um it's it's if you go out there and you're like, that looks new, 
That's the new building. <laughs> that's the new building. Yeah, that's what I asked. I her. think I, if you entered the the fairgrounds and um, you just walked the forward, main place. yeah, yeah, if you entered the fairgrounds in the main place and you just continued to walk forward, you would probably run into the building. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That what they did was um, some of the where, where it used to be vendor parking. Mm-hmm. They've kind of expanded that out. That's where the bit, so the, 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 the food row, the old food row, they tore that down. Oh, those huh. old uh, um, the little stalls or whatever. Stalls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tore that down. And that's now where the beer garden, and they've expanded out the fence there because behind that was the, the um, vendor parking. And so they turned that area into the beer garden and all that. And then they moved the food row a little farther, uh, I guess you'd be more north there. Uh, it's... So it's a little shifted over. Mm-hmm. So okay. uh, it's no problem. Once you get there, it'll all make sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain it till you just see it. And then you see it. And like, oh, okay, Well, hey, it that's sense. an adventure. The new fairgrounds, yeah. fun look out there. And, and I imagine, you haven't gotten out in a while, so it'll be fun. And I got a feeling this is something like a, a, a part in a long-term process. So I think each year yeah. for the next couple of years we come out to fair, we're going to start seeing more and more things change as they're updating yeah. and, and I mean and you like to see you like to see things in the old place where they were but it's kind of exciting to know that sure. we've got new well, things to it's look like at. The, the office and all that you know yeah. I mean yeah long tradition but you know sometimes it's time to put things mm-hmm. to bed it's just it mm-hmm. had a good run it's time to, to retire it and, right and sometimes uh, some of the buildings and things out there it's you know they were uh, a little. They were a little tired. <laughs> well, well, it's they're good stewards of the money. You know yes. what I mean. Yes. And that's what you know. And and that's that's how you do it. You make things last till they can't last no more. And that's right. that's that's country thinking. That's that's how everyone used to think mm-hmm. till mm-hmm. till modern times here. But uh, but um, that's what they're doing out there. Right. So come and enjoy it. Be a part of it. Yeah, so. Yeah. And if you have any questions, you can call Cherie, and your number is Cherie. My number is five seven five five two zero. Five three two seven. Yeah, and or you can contact Barbara, and her number is six two six eight zero three three. Very good. And of course, um, you can always uh, shoot messages to the mm-hmm. Eastern New Mexico State Fair mm-hmm. Facebook page. Um, I'm sure if you see Barbara uh, Frontier Medical, do you yeah, guys have I, a front, uh, a Facebook? Yes, we do. You can sh- if you shoot a question to there, Barbara mm-hmm. will we'll get that information. Well, yeah, or to you can you just or... call us at Frontier Medical six two seven eleven twelve. Um, but yeah, if you have questions, uh, come, you know, give us a call or just come out, come out and see us and come be a part, come senior day tomorrow. It's back. It's it, on. It's, it's happening. Back. Come out, get you, uh, don't. And, and if, if you've got a, a spouse or something that you're, you're kind of don't want to get in trouble with, don't tell them the beer garden's there. Just tell them you slipped <laughs> away and be like, uh-huh. honey, I got to go to the bathroom and then slip on over to the beer garden. Oh, you <laughs> could leave them in the beer garden and you can go visit with your friends, yeah. you know, your lady friends that you hadn't seen in a while. There you go. And so, in the commercial building. Y- yes. there you go. Yeah, we would love to definitely see you there. And don't forget the education building. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite fun building to go in because the model trains, you can spend hours staring at that. Yeah. The pumpkin, the pumpkin grower guys. That's cutthroat big time competition where they have these big gelatinous pumpkins uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, every year. That's that's all in that building. Going and everybody's there. got all their ribbons out already, right? For everybody yeah, that's yeah. one yeah. prize. Yeah. Most of the judging their, for some of that. All the judging's the already done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Quilts and what have you. Yeah. So go see all that stuff too. Yeah. Right there. Well, thank you, ladies. I'm well, sure you thank got you, Mike. Thank of, you for having us. A bunch, us. bunch of things to get done here between now and tomorrow. So yeah, we keep thinking of something else. Hey, what about this? Oh, no, we didn't think about that one. <laughs> yes. And so, yeah. You You'll know, be doing it, that up until about 2.50 tomorrow, That's I think. correct. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Hey, Shree, do you remember the hot dogs? <laughs> yeah. Right. And just... probably after 6. Oh, we forgot to oh, do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Six oh five. You know what we, we forgot? forgot? <laughs> there it is. Yep, you oh, said you watched well. it. That oh, stuff. Well. But thank but you, Thank ladies. you, Mike. Appreciate it. Uh, 